you want to write out the please stop talking now you notice this one is x is so then you write lucas go back to your seat please some of you ask lucas some of you they ask can i put y instead of x yes Alright, you can do that. But I follow this one now because you're saying X is. Now we start, huh? now we start. Now, how do I do? First step, parents, I need to find the FK. So what do I do? X equals to 40. Then you will put in the 40 equals to K over 5. Times 5, both sides. Then you realize K equals to... 800. Alright, huh? Wrong, huh? K equals to? Equals to what? 200. So, so, step number three is always you need to rewrite the equation. So, how to rewrite the equation? X equals to 200 over Y. Do you know this is the answer for part two? So, answer question, uh, part two, what are they asking when they say find the equation for the x and y? Uh, they are asking for like that. But if you want to put a k, you must replace with a number. Everyone clear? Yes? Seven? Good. Now, I go to part three. Uh, if I solve part three, part one automatically, automatically can do. Now, let's try. X is 400, so what does it mean? What does it mean? When x equals to 400. How do I get 200? Look at this step. Do you see k over 5 equals 40? How do I get k? I need to destroy the 5. How do I destroy the 5? Divide by 5. So both sides are 5. Oh, Yes, 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 yes. You asked quite a few times already. So therefore, this is over 1. I multiply upwards. This will be 200. I multiply upwards. This will be 400. Why? Huh? Why over 1? Because 400 is a whole number. It's always over 1. Why over 1? Good, because I got fraction, fraction. I can do the multiply upwards. Okay. So, when I multiply the words, then you see that 1 times 200 will give you 200. 400 times 200 will give you the 400. Why? Multiply y. Both sides, what? Divide by 400. Therefore, y equals to what? Half. Can follow? Can follow? Okay. Can I start the video here?